Here are 11 most haunted locations in France. Number 11. Chambord The most well-known and debatably the most amazing chateau in the Loire River Valley is the Chateau de Chambord. It displays distinct French Renaissance architecture, and when construction began in 1519, it was specifically built to act as a hunting lodge to Francois I. Francois spared no expense in having this one completed, and some believe that Leonardo da Vinci was even involved in the design. The primary architect was Domenico de Cotana from Italy, who also helped design the Hotel de Ville in Paris. The northwestern facade of this iconic building is quite imposing, and it displays nearly perfect symmetry. This could certainly be one of the most impressive buildings constructed under the impactful rule of Francois I. However, later on, the house was turned into an impromptu hospital during the Franco-Prussian War. People claim to still see the ghost while taking a tour. Number 10. The Pantheon, Paris This tourist attraction in the Latin Quarter of Paris contains the crypts of some of France's most notable characters, especially from the French Revolution. Some claim the architecture of this monument is completely flawless. It was originally built as a church, but displays neoclassical architecture, which was inspired by ancient Roman architecture. This mausoleum houses over a hundred remains of prominent French residents, including Voltaire, Jean-Jacques Rousseau, Victor Hugo, Louis Braille, and Marie Curie. For a long period of time, no women were placed here. Another sort of eerie thing about this place is the fact that some of the urns don't contain ashes, only remains of people's hearts. Strange but true. Number 9. Tuileries Gardens This public garden is located between the Louvre Museum and the Place de la Concorde in Paris. It was created in 1564, though it didn't open until 1667 due to many mysterious circumstances. And rumor has it that this place is home to one of the spookiest ghosts of all of France. His name is L'Homme Rouge des Tuileries. Many refer to him as the Red Man of the Tuileries in English. The stories say he was a butcher murdered on the orders of Catherine de' Medici for the crime of knowing too much about the private affairs of the crown. He stupidly proclaimed to be an astrologer, and he knew the exact date and time when the Queen of France would leave this world. Legend has it that his Appearances foreshadow dramatic, often sinister moments in the nation's history, such as the night right before the palace fire in 1871. Number 8. Le Mont Saint-Michel This island commune, located in Normandy, France, can be found about a half mile off the country's northwestern coast, and rumor has it that it's devastatingly haunted by a multitude of unruly, restless spirits. On one of the bloodier days in its history, a tremendous battle from the Hundred Years' War took place on these surrounding island beaches. As the tides rose to cover those sandy shores, the waters were stained with the blood red which covered the cold beach. The ghosts of those soldiers as well as the spirits of many monks who once lived and later died here. Number 7. Dome des Invalides in addition to the Pantheon and Père Lachaise Cemetery, which we mentioned in one of our Haunted Places to Avoid videos, the tomb of the former French Emperor Napoleon is quite impressive. Located at the Hotel des Invalides, the dome his remains are under were actually originally built as a royal chapel that took nearly 30 years to construct. After the revolution, the French turned the area into a hospital for injured soldiers. An immense excavation took place underneath Napoleon's remains, and they were returned to St. Helena Island in 1821. Eight of his greatest battle victories are inscribed in the marble beneath him. Number 6. Chateau de Chateaubriand This medieval castle was founded in the 11th century on the eastern border of Brittany and was a fortress for the Kingdom of France during many blood-soaked wars. This chateau is located between a railway and an old river, both of which have been noted to overrun with spectras who appear to be wearing old-fashioned clothes. The castle itself is tied ancient legends and whispers of terrible tragedies. Francois de Foix is said to have suddenly died here on the 16th of October in 1537. The locals tell that even to this day, on the stroke of midnight every October 16th, this noblewoman's ghost can be seen strolling through the castle before ascending the staircase, followed by a ghostly procession of knights and monks. They all swiftly vanish as the final stroke bangs against the old grandfather clock. Number 5. Père Lachaise Cemetery this place is said to be the largest cemetery in all of Paris. It's noted as the first garden cemetery as well as the first municipal cemetery. With more than three and a half million visitors, this is largely considered to be the most visited cemetery in the world. Though many of those who chose to stroll through these eerie grounds are not there to pay respect to the dead. They are there in search of the ghosts who are rumored to dwell here. Here one will find over 300,000 tombs and graves, some of which are home to some very famous deceased souls such as Oscar Wilde and Jim Morrison both of which are commonly spotted sitting on tombstones or playing tricks on visitors. Number 4. Chateau de Brissac 
This castle can be found in the department of Man et Loire. It was built in the 11th century, and the stories say it's home to its own hazardous residential haunting spirits. One of them is said to be known as the Green Lady. The Green Lady is whispered to belong to the ghost of a woman who went by the name of Charlotte de Brez. She was the illegitimate daughter of King Charles VII and his mistress, Anne Sorel. In 1462, she was married off to a nobleman, Jacques de Brez, who later found her in bed with another man. In a fit of rage, he murdered both of them in cold blood. The stories say that despite her death, Jacques de Brez was forced to vacate the chateau after a tormenting night where he would wake up to the moaning of his late wife and lover's ghosts. Those who have witnessed this spectra have reported that she has holes in the place of her nose and eyes. Since no one knows the details of her murder, many believe that this was the work of her jealous husband. Number 3. Chateau de Tresessant This medieval castle can be found in the Brittany region of France, near the Pampon Forest on the edge of an old military camp. The front gate is reached by a bridge which spans the moat. The origins of this castle have been lost in the mists of time, but many relentless rumors and strange stories continue to plague this place, which is why many say it's haunted. The eerie tales warn of ghastly murders and mysterious deaths. One legend of this hollowed halls tells of a bride who was buried alive in the castle's brick walls by her own jealous brothers on the morning of which was supposed to be her wedding day. This resident ghost can still be seen screaming and wailing as she tours the ancient stairs, her pale fingers sliding against the brick walls which have become her internal prison. She is known today as the Bride of Tres There is also rumored to be a ghost room where phantom card players are whispered to commonly be found playing card games. Number 2. The Gardens and Palace of Versailles This chateau was originally built in the 17th century as a hunting lodge by King Louis XIV, and some say this last castle of the monarchs is now held up as a place synonymous with the French Revolution. This is a spot where Marie Antoinette and King Louis XVI made themselves nice and cozy before the nation went into total anarchy. Since then, both the gardens and the chateau have been quite the place of numerous ghostly sightings, especially the most famous deceased residents rumored to wander the grounds. That's right, you guessed it, Queen Marie Antoinette and of course her notorious husband, King Louis XVI. The legends say their ghosts are often spotted as headless monarchs dressed in expensive attire but missing their craniums and such. They're rumored to haunt these grounds looking for their missing heads. And number 1. The Catacombs of Paris These underground ossuaries can be found beneath the streets of Paris, France and hold the remains of over 6 million deceased people. Here one can find ancient stone mines, a former city gate nicknamed the Gates of Hell. The catacombs located beneath the shining sparkles of the City of Lights is largely considered one of the eeriest and most haunted places on Earth. It's also said to be the largest grave on record. The skeleton line walls and chambers built upon the bones of millions of dead souls is a complex network of dark passageways which some may never find their way out of. 